Hurricane Ida, you may be able to claim your property damages from the storm on your tax returns, and you don't even have to wait until April 15th to do this. Joining us now is CPA Kimberly Washington. Kim, thank you so much. Good to see you. First, break down and describe what is considered hurricane loss for tax purposes. What does this include? And so when it comes down to hurricane losses, you can take it as a deduction, what's called a casualty loss on your tax return. The biggest takeaway right now is just as you mentioned, you can actually file the tax return right now and take it as a deduction on your 2020 tax return. So you can go. This is for any losses, maybe for a car or your property or whatever the case may be, you may be entitled to this tax deduction, which can also provide some cash in your hand right now. And Kim, how do you determine the amount of your hurricane loss or gain? Explain that for us. Well, right, typically there's two things that you're going to look at. The first thing being your cost. So what was the cost or the estimate that's going to determine to recover your property or to repair your property, rather? Another thing you're going to look at is the decline in value. For instance, how much was the property worth before the hurricane and how much it is right now? Now, keep in mind, you cannot take a loss if you're going to get a receipt, rather, money from FEMA or from insurance, so you can't double dip, but if it's any uncovered loss, you can't take it as a deduction. Kim, tell us how somebody can report their hurricane loss on the tax return. What do they need to do? The biggest thing that you want to do is, of course, once you gather all your documents and have an idea of what the cost of your loss will be, you can actually use a form that's called 4864, and you will report any casualty loss on that tax return using that form. One of the biggest things that, again, I can't stress enough, that you can go back and use your 2020 tax return, amend that one right now to claim the loss, or if you want to wait until April 15th, you can do it at that time also. All right, CPA Kimberly Washington.